If you're a death metal guitar player, especially an old school death metal guitar player, you definitely know what the HM2 is and what it does. I picked this up quite a while back because I just was curious and wanted to experiment with it. And I made a video plugging into it for the very first time. And I'll put the link below. I never saw myself using the HM2 as my guitar sound, but it was fun to mess around with. And I thought it could be useful to like, if you could blend it into a, a guitar sound. And I tried that with an HM2 plugin where I quad track some guitars and on two of the tracks, I put the HM2 plugin and blended it in. I thought it sounded really cool. And I know there are pedals out there that you can do that with. And so I picked up a death knob and decided to give that a try. It has one knob that allows you to blend the EQ section of the HM2 pedal into your guitar sound without adding distortion. So I am running into my 5150, the death knob is in the loop, and I'll show you how you can blend it in. So right now, the death knob is on zero, so it's adding nothing. So it's just the sound of my 5150. Now, it's on about one quarter. All right, let's take it up to like 50%. All right. It's at about noon. Go three quarters. Go full bore. There, so you get an idea of what it does, and obviously you can change all your EQ settings on your amp, more distortion from your amp, less, whatever you want, however you need to, whatever you need to do to make it sound best for you. But it's kind of cool how you can blend it in. Um, for me, I feel like, man, just, just barely. <laughs> So I can definitely see myself using this uh, for some recording, just to probably in the quad tracking um, thing, like I said earlier, where you can just kind of dial a sound in, a blend through the amp, and then maybe quad track and maybe kind of blend that in a little bit. Or I don't know, maybe just crack the knob on just a little bit and just roll with that. That could be cool too. Um, I haven't experimented a whole lot with that, but I just wanted to show what the pedal does and 
the different ways you can use it. Um, putting it in front of the app is another way you can go. I think I prefer it in the loop and from most of the other videos I've watched on this, it seems like most people do prefer it in the loop. But hey, whatever you like. Anyway. Death